You have asked, what do I do differently with my makeup now that I have gray hair? I have some answers for you. I wanted to make this quick video because some of you have asked me about your um, makeup and how the color is supposed to be different now that you have gray hair. And um, as you know my story, I have been growing out my natural gray hair for the past year and a half. And going on two years, pretty soon, I love makeup and I've been really experimenting a lot with different shades, different looks, different makeups, and trying to get a feel for what looks best with my gray hair since um, I was always, you know, I always had dark hair, I always had dyed my roots, I always covered up my gray, I never, I had started getting gray when I was very young, and so I always covered it up with different colors, black usually, um, dark brown, and sometimes red. So I wanted to kind of bring you in to this journey with me and share with you what kind of makeup and what has been different with my makeup application since I have um, grown my natural gray hair. I have added bronzer in my routine because I have found that ever since I um, started seeing more gray, my skin tone, when I just put foundation on, it looks really flat. It's not like before where the black hair was framing my face and um, it was giving that it was giving me shape and it would, my makeup didn't look flat before. But now I feel that my makeup looks flat if I just put slap on foundation all over and conceal my, my face, it just looks washed out. So what I've been doing, I have been contouring around my forehead and my cheekbones because I, I feel that as I'm aging, I am losing volume on my cheeks and I never really had high cheekbones anyway. My face feels a little bit less lifted. When you use bronzer, stay away from colors that are too, um, too grayish like this one. Um, if you can see, it's really gray and it's not really flattering on the skin because it makes your skin look muddy. If you choose any colors that are uh, more of a, a warmer tone, that is the best to use for, for bronzer. And this one is, is nice as well. These two colors are good because they're warmer. This one, if you can see, it's a really chalky and cool tone, so stay away from these so your, your skin doesn't look, look too muddy. Um, go with the warmer bronzers. This color, this kind of color is really nice too. Um, it's again on the warmer side, but this one has a little bit of shimmer on it. If you don't like shimmer, use something that is completely matte. Another thing that changes your lip color. Definitely anything too, too extremely nude, like chalky nude, anything too pale, definitely stay away from. These are really the nudes I wear now because I can't really wear anything that is too chalky or too pale in color. And um, everything that you see here has a lot of, it's more mauve color than nude color. And it has yellow, uh, it doesn't have any yellow undertones. It has mostly pinks and purple undertones and berry undertones. As far as lipstick, like colored lipstick goes, any color that is berry, any color that's red, any color that is nice fuchsia color, those are really nice colors to put on when you have gray hair. Blush is your best friend because Oh my goodness, my phone is going wild. Definitely blush is a really good way to give your face life and if you're in a rush, you can just put some blush and lipstick and a little bit of mascara and you're, you're good to go. Keep your eyebrows nicely groomed and if you uh, are sparse in areas, fill them in with the proper eyebrow pencil or eyebrow powder. If you have really gray white hair, um, definitely keep your eyebrows lighter and if you have um, salt and pepper hair go with the you know your natural hair color on your eyebrows those are really all the things that I do and those are really the things I have changed since I have been growing out my natural gray hair thanks so much for watching I hope that you found this video helpful and informative if you have any other questions about gray hair and makeup please leave it in the comments below Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. See you next time.